Hello and welcome to this video on Enterprise Search in SAP Fury. In this video, we shall see how you activate and use the Enterprise Search and the available search objects. Let's get started. First, we would see how does the SAP Fury Launchpad look when we do not have the Enterprise Search activated in the system. So in this example, I am logged in as a sales manager and this is my SAP Fury Launchpad. And here on the top, you see the only search option is search in apps. You can look for the tiles which you do not see the home page and navigate it to it. Now we would log in into another system wherein we have pre-activated the enterprise search and compared the differences. I'll try to access the SAP Fury Launchpad and this user as well is assigned with, assigned with the sales manager role. Now if you look for the search option, you could see that here is, apart from search you have other different option like you can do, look for directly for the tiles or you can look as per the search objects available here. As an example, we would, we would like to see the list of sales order which has test as a reference to it. So I'll directly select the sales order. And give the reference as test. So all sales order with the key reference as test would appear here. This is mainly used by the functional team or the business users in order to quickly jump to the search objects they are looking for. Now we would see that how this configuration is actually done in the system. Go to the task list transaction STC01. Enter the task list as SAP ESH initial setup work client. Click on generate task list run. In here, there are couple of parameters which are required to be set up prior to running the job in the background. First parameter is set Rex destination or SAP HANA database connection. Herein, there are necessary parameters which has to be maintained prior to executing this task list. Click on fill in parameters. And since I have already made the selection, the selection to be made is use SAP HANA primary database connection default. You can save this option and then get back to the initial screen. The, the second field parameter is select model to create connectors. And herein, you need to fill in the necessary parameters. In software component, select SAP APPLH and this is the standard model for all search connectors and select all models. So I'll just try to select for, for the SAP APPLH. Once you have made the selection, you can save it and then get back to the initial screen. And then you can execute the task list from here. Please note that this is a long running task and this should always be executed in the background. Since I have already executed this job, I'll show you the logs for the task list run, which was done previously. You can check this using the transaction code STC02. Enter the task list, which is SAP ESH initial setup work client and give the user through which the task list was created. In my case, it was Fiori underscore one. So I'll just select this icon and execute. As you can see, the status of the task list was finished successfully and it was executed a week before. That is the reason we could see the search connector available here. Also, if you see here, there are duplicate searches or such as bank duplicate which are not required or also there are search searches which you would like to restrict for the business users. As an example, I can say a billing document. 
we would now see we, how we can actually restrict the search object in the search connectors. This can be done via the transaction code slash and ESH underscore cockpit. And once you enter the transaction code, you will have the connector administration cockpit as you can see now. And now since we are trying to restrict the search connector, which is billing document, I'll try to I'll try to make that restriction in the cockpit and we'll see how the how it appears and how the changes reflect for the users. As you can see that the billing document is active in the system. And you can directly select, select this icon and just click on action as inactive. And then the search options should appear in a similar way in the Fury Launchpad. We'll try to make this selection and see how it appears. We'll just select this as billing document and click on deactivate. As you can see that the message is a billing document has been deactivated and we'll try to refresh the Fury Launchpad and see if it still appears or we have made the changes successfully. As you can see now, the billing document search is not a search object is not available in the search results. So this is how you can make the restrict the search using the transaction code that is ESH underscore cockpit and using this connector connector administration cockpit. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps to understand the enterprise search concept and how we can activate and restrict the search objects in SAP Fury Launchpad.